Hello guys, in this video I want to quickly demonstrate to you a package filament plugin called Auth UI Enhancer by Diogo Pinto, which allows you to customize your login and registration page with your own brand with some images and various position changes. So I've installed that plugin to an empty filament project and the installation looks like this, compose a require of that plugin and then you need to have a custom theme, which actually is the requirement for majority of plugins for filament 4. So in the documentation, you may find that it is required to have custom theme here, but important part that this documentation of that plugin is not updated to filament 4. So in filament 4, that theme CSS is registered not in Tailwind config.js anymore with Laravel 12, but with Laravel 12, but it's enough to add this source to the theme CSS, this file generated by filament. So this is one example when reading the docs of filament plugin, make sure that it's for filament 4 or whatever version you have, because for example, in the docs here, the link goes to filament 3 version 4 custom theme. But yeah, after I had set up the custom theme in the admin panel provider, we need to add this thing, plugins, auth UI enhancer plugin make, and then on top you add this on top and I intentionally comment that out for now because I want to show you before and after. So this is the default filament for sign-in page and if we enable that plugin to run and in a minute I will show you more features but by default I just refresh the login page and I have this. So we have the page divided, we have a new sidebar on the left and then the login is on the right. So that's the beginning. Then what else we can do with this page? So if we scroll further through the docs of that package, we can customize the UI in various forms. For example, form panel position. So in here, in addition to make, we add form and you can see how many methods are suggested here, but form panel position, for example, for example, let's put left here. Now for refresh, we have this on the left. Let's see what else we can do. For example, we can do form panel with 40%. So for example, if the code looks like this, we refresh and then the width is smaller. And basically that's it. You go through the documentation of that plugin for more customizations like background color, like images, adding background image URL, playing around with colors and images. And you can see various examples. This is actually a great example of a plugin documentation with screenshots. A lot of documentation pages on plugins provide just the code. This provides how it actually look like. And also you may add your own CSS. And yeah, that's it. So kind of a small plugin, but pretty popular. It has 72 stars. So that's on the official docs. On GitHub, it's even more. I think it's 122. So great job by Diogo to add some personal branding, personal touch, or your company logo or some kind of image to the default filament auth pages. It's not just login, actually you can customize registration and other profile pages too. And on our filamentexamples.com we have more examples to customize auth. For example, if we just search for login in that list, so there's a customization to add username with email or instead of email in the login form, then what else? Login with Google and Facebook. So you may find how to add Laravel Socialite on top of filament. For registration, there's an example of user registration with approvals, for example, and many more examples. In total, it's almost 80 now. And why I'm showing it to you because there is a Black Friday deal going on, 40% off membership of filament examples. So if you want to get the access to the source of all those projects, it's in one GitHub repository. Coupon Friday 25 will give you 40% off until December 1st. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.